Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and this is SiliconAngle.tv's continuous coverage of Dell Storage Forum 2012. This is theCUBE, where we bring you the smartest people we can find. We extract knowledge, we package it, we extract the signal from the noise and bring it to you, our audience, and we're here to talk about the channel. Now, of course, when you think about Dell, you, you know, historically you think about the direct channel. Well, Dell has transformed its channel organization, and we have two individuals uh, today to talk about that. Bob Skelly is to my right, he's the global director of the Certified uh, Partner Program at, uh, at Dell for channels, and Greg Davis, we call him the channel chief, he's the VP and general manager of the Global Commercial Channels. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks, Thank Dave. You. So, um, you heard what I said about Dell and the transformation. This morning, you guys gave you know, the big keynote, uh, jam-packed, strong channel message. Mm -hmm. um, this transformation, tell us about it. Uh, well, um, uh, very happy to be here at Storage Forum. Very happy to see standing room only at the, um, at the meeting this morning. So, um, we, we made a large investment in our channel business over the last five years. We launched um, our Partner Direct program five years ago, December 2007. We've, um, we've, in, we've invested throughout that period in a consistent <coughs> manner, and we've seen substantial growth in, in our partner revenues. Um, I, I mentioned the keynote this morning, uh, a third of our commercial uh, revenue now comes from you know, partners. Right, so the partners that are in the room there and other partners around the world comprise a third of Dell's uh, business volume. So big, big uh, shift in our routes to market and our go-to-market strategy and our, our partners are embracing the programs and, and rewarding us with business. Which is an enormous number, you know, the top line of Dell yes. is obviously huge. Um, where, where do you see that going? I mean, is that sort of where you want it to be or do you see that growing over time? Well, uh, you know, we, we've really uh, never measured it in terms of the percentage of, of our business, but rather we believe we've got all the fundamental elements, the structure and the, product, um, the products to grow twice as fast as the market. So, you know, our focus, Bob and myself, is how do we go and uh, find new partners, get them trained and certified and begin to uh, ramp them so that we can keep the growth going. Every country around the world where we have our program in place, we're growing at least two times faster than the market. And we want to continue that. So what does the certification you know, entail, Bob? Yeah, so certification, what we did is we structured a program that really uh, looked at the partner business models, thought about how they go to market, and then structured a certification program that really coupled Dell solutions with the different go-to-market strategies that we're seeing from our partners. And so, we really built it around choice and flexibility and tried to uh, cover all the different uh, solutions, storage, server, systems management, networking and security, and then most recently, cloud services and solutions. And what we do is we bring a whole host of training uh, curriculum to our partners, uh, a lot of it online but a lot of it also instructor-led where they can get right in front of uh, a course instructor in a live venue. And, and uh, we had over 135,000 courses that were completed last year alone. And that was up from about 75,000 the year before, so growing very fast and huge adoption. So that's key, I mean obviously, obviously that's, a, that's a great <coughs> value add, but at the end of the day the channel, they're about profit, right? They, they care sure. about making money, right? And so, um, What's, and, and everybody's going after the channel. I mean, all your big competitors, a big channel land grab going on. So, so Greg, what's different about Dell for the channel? Well, um, uh, Dave, you mentioned uh, profit, and, and to kind of dovetail on what Bob said, um, you know, customers will pay for expertise. So you want to be an expert, you know, customers will pay for your level of expertise. And our training is really designed around enabling our partners to be experts. And we make that investment, it's free training from Dell, but the partners that invest there become uh, trained experts and they're enabled to do the right job for customers and that creates profitability. The, the other areas we're really focused on is, is ensuring that our programs, 
right, are all designed around data center solutions, right? So another area of high profit for our channel partners is data center solutions, whether it's uh, servers, networking, you know, we're here at the storage forum, but you've got security that's a, that's a wrapper around the entire thing. And then we're also, you know, very excited about the recent WISE announcement and how we can bring virtual client as a, you know, product portfolio to our partners as another profit enhancer. You tie all that together to with our, our simple message of we want to be the easiest company to work with. That's been the mantra of our channel uh, program. So when you compare us to everyone else, we think we can win if we can continue to be focused on ease of use for our partners. So um, there was a big <laughs> emphasis this morning on on end to end, sure. um, and of course we're at the storage event. So you have a lot of storage resellers out there. Uh, uh, how's that message resonating? Um, you know, and what does it entail? Because there's more training involved if I'm going to go beyond, you know, outside of my comfort zone of storage. So how's that all shaking sure. out? Yeah, it's, it's resonating really well. Uh, so, you know, we have, uh, in North America alone, we have over 500 partners who have went and gotten certified on multiple competencies. So they've gone out and, and, and been trained on storage and server or storage and, and networking or server and networking and security, some combination. And so over 500 partners have embraced multiple disciplines. We've got our premier partners, which requires two disciplines and other commitments around solutions training. There's over 200 partners now who have made the commitment and taken all that extra training to become premier with us. And so we're seeing great adoption in getting cross-trained across uh, many different solutions and going to market um, with Dell around an end-to-end -end solution to their customers. So Bob, last year in theCUBE, <coughs> you were on with uh, Callie Lewis and John McCarthy, you might yes. recall, down in Orlando, and you gave a little factoid, and I want to just get an update. So you said at that time, Dell had 2,500 certified preferred partners globally, 10% qualified at the highest level, which is premier. That's right. And you said that in fact, Dell's channel business, this is last year, a year ago, would rank as number 350 in the Fortune 500 if it were a standalone company. That's um, right. So talk about sort of how that's progressed and you know, where you're at today. Yeah, so in terms of the number of certified partners, um, you know, we continue to add new partners to our program uh, globally. And, uh, and then through acquisitions, of course, we've also brought other new partners in. And we're closer to 3,000 certified partners today. And that includes some partners that may have you know, uh, moved on to, uh, you know, to, to uh, registered level within our program. So some of those are moving down into registered and then other partners are replacing it. So we're adding about 500 new certified partners every year uh, based on the training commitments that they're, uh, that they're making. I don't know where, the, you know, I wish I could give you the 350 out of Fortune 500. That was um, something we talked about last year. I don't know where, it's bigger because we're bigger and we've grown a lot and, uh, and it's even more revenue coming through the channel than it was last year. Uh, but I don't know where Great it ranks stat. today. So but it's, uh, it's, it's, if I could just add yeah, to please, that, yeah. right? Um, you know, I, I don't have the exact stat, but you know, we're, we're excited about the, the growth. I touched on we're growing faster than the market, right? And so, um, and so while there's ups and downs in the economy or the markets, you know, we we're, we're feel very comfortable about the strategy that we've got in place for the partners and you know, our growth alone is bigger than most other companies' channel businesses. So, when so it's, it's, a, it's exciting to be, you know, be a part of Dell uh, for, for our partners. So when you say you're growing faster than the market, specifically you're talking about the, the Dell channel, the Dell storage channel, both, can you just Yeah, add so some color it's a great uh, clarification, Dave. When, when I mentioned that, was we put the channel program together five years ago. We, we talked about our goals and what we thought we could accomplish and, and to a team member, we said, well, look, you know, if we do this right, we put the structure in place, we, we as a channel organization should be able to grow faster than the market. As IDC or Gartner would define the IT spend mm -hmm. in, a, in a given market, whether it's US or Germany or the UK, right? And so those have been our, our targets and goals, and, and we continue to uh, drive past those goals um, you know, every year and every uh, market that we're working in. So you guys have been in the channel <coughs> business for a while, um, and you've seen a number of companies, what I call the head fake, <laughs> you know? Oh, we love the channel, we love the channel, and all of a sudden, boom, the rug gets pulled out from underneath. Has that changed? Is that sort of ancient history? Because all the major players, I called it a land grab before going after it, but there's, there's still some skeptics out there when I talk to people in the channel. What do you tell the skeptics, Greg, about your, your business? Um, uh, well, in terms of, of is Dell serious about it, right? Then 
You know, I, t I tell, uh, I tell our, our partners, I tell any prospective partners, you just have to look at our track record. So, you know, we made a commitment to the channel business. We've invested every single year. Um, we've never pulled back away, right? And so um, a lot of partners are taking advantage of it. And if you're not out there taking advantage of it, your competition is. And, and so we're, you know, we're less focused on acquiring new partners now and much more focused on, you know, getting deeper relationships with the partners that we have. And we think that's the, that's the step for the next several years in terms of growth. Yeah, and you're going you're gonna to extract more business out of your existing customers in general than you do out of new customers. Now, of course, as you got into the channel business, you had to start somewhere, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. we had to, we had to, to build it up from the yeah, beginning, right. but now we've got a strong base of partners. Uh, as Bob mentioned, a strong base of, of premier and, and preferred partners. And, and as I mentioned in the keynote, we want to we want to train deeper. So, if, you know, our partners have 5% of their sales force trained on Dell. We want 50% of them trained on Dell. And we think that's the level of uh, commitment we're looking for from our partners, and we think it leads to return profits for our partners. Bob, how does the yep. training differ from, <coughs> go ahead. You, you had a point well, I was, I was just going to say, I mean, G Greg made a great point that we're less worried about continuing to add new partners to our certified par program and more concerned about helping them get deeper and wider w across our technologies and getting more people trained. And what we're seeing, and Greg alluded to this in his keynote this morning, but what we're seeing is if you look at partners that are making the biggest investment in training with Dell, they're growing at a substantially faster clip than partners who are, are lower on that. And so 70, if you take the top 25, they're growing at 71% year <laughs> on year uh, based on training investments. So it, it's, it's a big number and That's we see a return. Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> That's faster than any market. Right. <laughs> so uh, Bob, how does the training differ from what a Dell employee would go through? In some cases, it's very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do is we take a lot of the training that uh, is built for Dell employees and we add some channel messaging in there for it to make it real for them. So we try and take the same product and solution content, but then bring channel messaging that makes it relevant for, that, for the channel partner community. And the other thing we do is we really uh, invest quite a bit in online training. We want it to be very accessible so that they can do it self-paced, uh, they can um, fit it in when they have free time, we know that it's a huge investment for a partner to uh, take training and be away from their customers, and so we want to make it as accessible and easy to get to as, as possible. So I want to change subjects a little bit, talk about cloud. Cloud, opportunity <coughs> or threat for the channel? So, so it's a two-edged sword, right? You've got uh, this new cloud service provider becoming a channel. Uh, at the same time, you have new services that the channel can provide. So um, the cloud is very disruptive to the channel. What are you guys seeing as sort of the, the best practice within the channel um, and, and in terms of guys who get it right? What are they doing and what are they doing right? Good. Well, you know, for me, it's, it's um, partner, partners who have figured out to do both, right? It's not a, uh, this isn't about trade-offs. This isn't about taking your old business model and throwing it out the window. It's about figuring out how you continue to evolve. And so channel partners who have a hybrid model and are out there building a cloud strategy uh, moving into Cloud Builder, so that they provide um, private or public cloud infrastructure <coughs> for their customers, but at the same time continue to offer infrastructure services, uh, solutions consulting to their, to their legacy customer base, they're doing both. So it's not change your whole model and become just a cloud guy, but learn how to adapt and build cloud into your strategy. So, can your channel partners, how does it work with <coughs> your services? Um, so obviously some channel partners have their own services, some don't. Can they tap into your service portfolio? Can they brand it themselves? How does that whole issue work? Good. Yeah, so again, um, it's really everything. So I talk about choice and flexibility, not to uh, hit a theme too hard, but everything we no, do is hit around it hard. choice. hard, that's a really important thing. It's channel, around right? choice and flexibility. <laughs> so if uh, delivering those services themselves as a channel partner is the right, right way to go to market, we want to enable partners to go deliver those services. If leveraging existing Dell services that they want to resell at a profit uh, is, is interesting to them, we want to make that available to them. You know, we can envision a day when, as skills and capabilities continue to evolve in the channel, that maybe they actually are delivering Dell services on Dell paper uh, on our behalf. So there's a lot of ways we can go with the services uh, model and bring profitability to the channel and, through and that. And how about branding that? Can I, if I'm a channel partner, can I brand it with my own brand? Is it a, is it a Dell brand? Is it my choice? Yeah, it's your choice, really. 
Yeah. It, it depends on the service you're engaging in. So um, what we want to do is, is really facilitate the partner getting in there and delivering services to their customer. And oftentimes that's on their own brand and on their own services capabilities. But we also want to make Dell services available to them for resale. Excellent. All right, Bob, well thank you for sharing Thanks, some of the appreciate training it. detail. Greg, appreciate the keynote sure, this morning and uh, appreciate you guys coming on theCUBE. Keep it right there, we'll be back. Um, we could not be here without the generous support of Dell and Legal Seafood, so watch this message from Dell and we'll be right back from the Dell Storage Forum in Boston.